you know, the Gregory that you see in that film is exactly how Gregory is in real life. Um, he's incredibly lovable. He's funny as hell. He's mischievous. He's duplicitous. He's a genius. He's a savant. And you cannot help but like him. And part of the decision um, editorially um, that, 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 that my team made, and, and Mark, and Dan, and, and John Bertain, was how to hopefully make audiences fall in love with Gregory like, like I fell in love with Gregory, like we all fell in love with Gregory. Because, you know, in, in film, you know, taking out the documentary of it, is if an audience can connect with the character on a personal level, and they can laugh, and they can feel compassion and caring, then you can invest deeper into that story, and it and it kind of transcends a piece of news, or it transcends the idea of, of documentary. And I think that that was very, very important for us in the creative process, was to allow humor in the film, because you know if you laugh, then you connect. It was to allow seeing all the goofiness of Gregory's character, so that when we got to how intense this was, and how much his life was on the line, that you cared about the stakes, that you cared about the two of us. And so that was certainly a, a, a really uh, um, long uh, process, and you know, it was something, you know, even when after Sundance, um, we were trying to go make the movie shorter, and, and Lisa and Adam here kept seeing these nuggets in the film and going, wait, 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 there are great moments here, there are great moments here. Let's expand this scene. Let's, let's show the humanity in that scene. And, and, and that was so important to us, and, I, and hopefully that, that you know, it, it invested you into, into his character.